Hello, welcome to Ready Ways by Todabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Panasonic RF 504D. It's an AM FM portable radio that I got donated to me by Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. You're awesome. Chuck knows I'm a fan of Panasonic portable radios, and he surprised me with this donation. I am so happy, and this radio is so awesome. So we're going to go over this bad boy. So, dimensions. Um, it's 3 inches across, 5 and a quarter inches high, and a depth of 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. You can find this radio used on eBay for right around $15 to $18. Represents a really good value, and we'll get into that. So let me just go ahead and show you size comparison. I have CC Pocket here. And as the time, 10.09 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. See the depth difference? Amazing. And then we have Iron Man. That gives you some ideas. What that of cards looks like on this big radio. And then I brought out a fellow Panasonic, the 505. So yeah, it's about almost the same size. Um, yeah, just checking that out. This has more of an external antenna. This has a hidden antenna, which I kind of like the, this one better. But uh, yeah, it gives you an idea for flare. Now, this is probably a little earlier. They did all metal versus this uh, plastic with this chrome treatment on here. But uh, either way, still awesome radios. Okay. So yeah, this radio here, it dates right around 1981, 1982, early 80s. Um, so it definitely has that cool vibe. I love the oval tuning window. Looks kind of neat. Looks like almost like a TV set. <laughs> I do like that. Score features. Left hand side, we have the carrying strap, which is nice and long. And I do use this. Uh, when I'm carrying the radio, I walk like this here, and it just, you know, it feels like it's secure. And even if you didn't want to put it on your wrist, just put a few fingers through it, you know, carry it just like that, just in case you slip, you got it. It's just, it's, just, you know, it's a bigger radio, so it's worth having that, so that's nice. Uh, we also have this knurled finish that uh, definitely has a good grip, so you can hang on to the radio. Kind of a cool matte, matte finish in the back here. Here we have an earphone jack, single ear only, sure. Front here we have the dial FM eighty eight to one hundred eight, AM five hundred thirty to sixteen hundred kilohertz, and then we have a log scale which is nice, and then we have Panasonic, and like I said, they did this kind of like a, it's like a paint probably a chrome paint on the plastic, it's not metal, it's definitely some type of surface treatment. Here we have the speaker about two and a quarter inch speaker, and I think this is metal, yeah. This this grill or it could be plastic, it's one of the two. Definitely, I don't want to push on it to check, but uh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's plastic. Looks like metal, though. It's pretty neat. Um, okay, so then on the right-hand side, we have the tuning wheel. Uh, works really good. It's real smooth. I like how it's uniform when you dial it. That orange stripe going across, really nice. That's cool. Very accurate. Here we have the volume on-off wheel. Makes it easy. I like that, too. Neural finish on that right-hand side. Same as the left. So you're not going to lose it when you're holding on to it. Uh, top of the radio, two-year limited warranty. I think it's over, but that sticker's still there. It's kind of cool. Uh, on there, you'll see the antenna. So this antenna here extends out to a whopping, let's see, 15 and a half inches. I wrote it down. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. Though it does have great FM reception, which we're going to talk about. Back of the radio, it says Panasonic, mile number RF504D. It runs on two AA batteries, which is really cool. Uh, so it uses standard batteries. Don't have to worry about 9 volts. So I know some of you are like, oh, I don't want that old radio because it takes 9 volts. Well, this thing takes two AA's, and it runs really good with them. Made in Taiwan. Here we have a band select switch, AM, FM, vented case. And then there is a push to open. So it opens radio up and show you the insides. Always fun. So let's pull that back off. There's the inside. Here's the board. We get a close-up here without like, running into everything. Uh, so there's our ferrite antenna which I haven't measured, which I guess I should for you guys, since I happen to have a tape measure handy. So it looks like we're about two and an eighth of an inch. So give you an idea. Uh, there's your tuning capacitor, your different oscillators and transformers. We have huge capacitor there. It's uh, pretty interesting to see. A um, few of them bent over here, a couple coils, a speaker, there's your earphone jack, yeah, it's pretty pretty straight up fair, but this works really well. I'm surprised with this reception. Here you can see the tab for the antenna right there. So, yep, that's how that goes together. 
and we'll just kind of notch this here. Kind of fits a certain way. Yeah, pretty easy to open and close. So, all right. So let's talk about FM reception on this radio. I'm really surprised with it. So we have a sensitivity is okay to good. So it's it's the average range, and so is selectivity okay to good. I found about 50 stations, so it definitely is pushing the average limit a little bit. So it's closer to good than the okay to good. Um, so maybe like two and three quarter star if you want to do quarter stars. Um, and then yeah, the selectivity was halfway decent. Uh, it kept the uh, hold and selectivity between the moderately strong and strong stations and you can still pick up a weak signal but you definitely had to work the radio you know tilting moving the direction of those weaker stations to get them pulled in but otherwise the radio would handle those stations fairly well uh, i did notice that but when you're on the move it's a little hard to do that so but yeah definitely gets a two and a half star rating on fm sensitivity there we are so we're going to go ahead and do an audio test for those that don't know what that is it is a c crane fm transmitter 2 with an MP3 player uh, transmitting uh, those uh, YouTube music on airwaves at 97.7 megahertz. And this radio, I will tune to 97.7 megahertz and receive the sound through the air. <laughs> so that's how that works. So if you guys think I'm overdubbing or anything, nope, it's definitely coming right through the radio speaker. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn this on, make sure I'm on the FM band and we'll tune Radio Totterbert. Make it loud. So if you're wearing headphones, turn your volume down. <laughs> or those who want to rock, turn it up. <laughs> rock the YouTube way. All right, hey. there we go.
got a little louder. Sorry about that. <laughs> So that gives you an idea for the audio. Yeah, this this little speaker is pushing out the power. Wow. I mean, I'm right in front of it, and it's just amazing. Um, this will fill a small room for sure. Uh, very impressed with it. Uh, again, for the amount of money you spend on this thing, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a, a winner for sure. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band. I uh, had really good luck. I'm going to unplug some transformers too. Really, really good luck with this radio on AM during the day. So I don't know what it's going to be like during tonight because I haven't done a nighttime band scan yet with this radio. But uh, during the day, this AM was amazing. It sounded great. Uh, local stations coming in beautifully. My local long distance is coming in perfectly. Um, I'll be honest with you. This radio was besting a new over $100 radio that I have in-house. So just amazing uh, on the AM. So very happy with it. Let's go ahead and turn this up. Oh boy, I think it's raining somewhere out there. <laughs> Not over here. We'll try to get through this hopefully pretty quick. Consultation by calling 855-471-5796. That's 855-471-5796. you against the Reds today. My name is Matt Pauly. This is Brewers X Journeys as we come your way live from Miller Park. If you'd like to join the program. Sounds like 620. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. About 52 miles away. 10,000 watt tower. Nothing super special. But there. So that uh, country, western, or country music, not western, but country music you're hearing is WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles, uh, 650. It's pretty cool. Pretty quiet. It's there. Stand B for more information. Uh, there's nothing better than an early tea time. Seriously, the way I sleep and my energy is off, and it's really hard to concentrate. I'm thinking about taking a Six, seven to score. Oh, yeah. Cubs games on here. Sounds good. So this is the 690. Typically is. This is uh, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles away. Um, a TSM station. I do have to get the call letters. I still have to look that up. But if I do, I'll put them up down here if I find them. WLW. Jack says it's summertime and the winning is easy. Play the five hundred thousand dollars Winko right now. Uh, seven hundred Cincinnati, Ohio, three hundred miles away. Get you all set up for that one. Um, hope to see you out at the ballpark. I right. seems like everyone's going. All right. everyone I've talked to today uh, has said they will be there, and uh, you know last year. The, the Mankata 720 WGN, was, had all It was a great night to be at the stadium. I uh, am. Okay, so the music here is CFZM 740 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Yeah, it always sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and just tune this up a little bit here. I'm going right away. Okay. So this should be 750. Some big storms down there. Uh, WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Okay. 
Kind of mixing in there with 740 a bit. Now, Brian on WABC doesn't like America. I don't know why. I'd like to hear why. WJR, Brian, Detroit, Michigan. Like 270 miles. I said I didn't like America. I just asked the question. Plus special financing only for a limited time. Find your local sleep number store. This is 780 WBBM. Skyro. Subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. When posting on most job sites, someone was rescued over the weekend after falling from a cruise ship and spending 10 hours in the Adriatic treading water in darkness. Here's correspondent Bill Neely with the story. Nearing dry land at last, a rescue ship and one lucky woman. CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. Pretty easy find. There's a ball game here. There's an interference with my camera on the station always on 830. This is a WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. The media finds a way to exclude. It is ignored because of what can be called impossible criteria. WHAS, 840, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. Or it's because an editor sees sensational item that can start an emotional response. So here's 850 KOA Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Okay, some weird music on 860. Uh, CJBC, uh, this is Toronto, Ontario. Usually they're speaking French. Uh, it's 460 miles away. Cool. All right, let's see if we can get WLW. It's kind of hard with these storms, but at least this radio's picking them up. I was listening to ESPN earlier, and they said that you don't want to judge a quarterback for one game. I know Nate Peterman did throw five interceptions against San Diego, or against LA last year, the Chargers. But I think Nate Peterman's probably the guy they start off week one. I think Josh Allen starts off. He gets a start. Yeah, WWL. Maybe like week five or six. I mean, 870 New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles away. This is probably the, uh, WCBS, New York, New York, 750 miles. Nine hundred. Oh, two radios. We're mixing the eight ninety. Uh, this is WLS, Chicago. What sounds like uh, old time radio is CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. Just gonna cruise up the dial now. Review of everything going on in the football program. Did they uncover anything else untoward? Because just getting a box of toys. Is it enough? That's just a you got a guy running right here. protected. So having something shipped to the athletic office that you know isn't getting open that's in a random hey. bright brown box isn't going to matter. Nine eighty. Yes, we, I think we have audio. Yeah. ESP 1000, Chicago. Love classic cars, then you'll love Brand Victoria Casino's classic car giveaway and car show. Play 
with your Club GPC, UPNC. It's back to school time. One of the most exciting parts of going back to school is picking out your crayons, pencils, and notebooks. However, not every child has the opportunity. Pittsburgh. This year, one in Pennsylvania, three 450 miles. Have the supplies they need to succeed in school. But you can help see. That's why they do the voir dire and they try to get rid of jurors and try to find 12 jurors who can hear the case fairly. Appreciate the call, Derek. Thank you. Thank you, John. Have a great night. All right, folks, I want my expert legal analyst out there. I know some of you are out there. 10.30, uh, it's probably WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. Two stations really close there. There we go, 10.40, WHO, Des Moines, Iowa. Got some call letters. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Will stretch into a fourth day tomorrow. It's a quick way you can save money. Should be 1120, KMOX. St. Missouri. <laughs> what the hell he's talking about? That's pretty funny. Um, 1140, WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Just going to kind of quick dial it up to the top here. WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Fifteen forty KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa. Two hundred ten miles. There's music there. Um, let's see where that music's coming from. Fifteen sixty. I don't have anything for fifteen sixty. Interesting. So that French it should be sixteen ten. Yep. Sixteen ten is CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Radio taps out about 16.30. Cool. All right, we'll stop it there. All right, final thoughts on the Panasonic RF504D um, AM FM portable radio. Yeah, thanks again to Chuck, who donated this to the channel. Awesome guy. Appreciate it. Um, I'll be honest with you, if you uh, like vintage looks and you like vintage radios and you like the way this one looks, um, go ahead and pick one up. They are very common. Uh, I saw them on eBay. And uh, I looked them up real quick, and yeah, you can get one fairly cheap, uh, under 20 bucks. I saw finalized uh, auctions running between 15 to $18, and condition looking pretty good, just like similar to this. There were some missing, like a battery door. This one doesn't have a battery door. The whole back opens up, but um, they must have had a later, later model that it had a separate battery door. 
But yeah, definitely a cool vintage radio that's amazing. Did not need any recapping. Um, those are all look like original capacitors and everything. So I didn't have to do any work to this radio. Just works. And that's typical with Panasonic's in general. Even, you know, my old ones like this one here didn't touch it. Um, you just, it just worked right out of the box. So yeah, they, they have a way of holding up after all these years. Just amazing. So yeah, if you're looking for a really cool radio, you don't want a Sony P26 or something modern. You want something older, but uses two batteries, two AA batteries. This is it. Run out and get one. You'll be so happy. This thing is just really, really good. And yeah, I can't stress more enough. It's, the AM is fantastic. You'll just love it. The FM is decent. You'll, you'll love that. It'll be great. Um, I have no... Issues recommending this radio to anybody who's into classic radios. So, yeah, there we go. Um, so thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the presentation, give me a big like. I appreciate that. If you enjoy Panasonic radios and classic ones, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. I put one out every day. I don't always get these vintage Panasonics. Uh, lately, it's been hard to find and track them down, except by donation, which is really nice. Um, Three, talk about this Panasonic RF504D down below. Do you have one? Have you had one? Do you like it? Um, I love it. This, I'm sorry, this thing is just great. Yeah, it's a little bigger, but, you know, it does a great job. It's just, yeah, it's rocking. <laughs> I just love it. Um, also, uh, yeah, uh, Chuck donates radios. Peter donates radios. I have a lot of people donating radios to me, which is fantastic. And if you want to be one of those people... Uh, who get a shout out and want to see one of their radios reviewed and, and want to donate to the channel? Awesome! Just uh, go to my, you know, my channel. Look at my channel header and do, there's the about section. Hit about and then there's a it says business inquiry. Just click click it and say I'm not a robot. You know, get my email address and then yeah, use that email address. Contact me. I check it every day and multiple times a day because uh, I get emails all the time from people. And yeah, say you want to donate a radio and I'll give you the information how to do that. And yeah, it's real simple. And then, yeah, then you'll be famous <laughs> for providing me a radio for review. And everybody gets to see what these radios are about. And like I said, if I didn't get this donated, I might have missed this one and never would have gotten found, possibly. But this is just, just amazing. Love it. Um, and then, of course, don't forget... Visit me on Patreon, uh, Todd Roberts After Hours, after the video. <laughs> Trying to figure out a good tagline for that. If you guys have ideas, let me know. Um, but yeah, come visit me over there. Uh, if you guys li like listening to old-time radio, I have a really fun, interesting way of doing it. I don't have any Bluetooth radios really hooked up. I just kind of have my GE Super Radio off in the background and hook up my phone to my FM transmitter, too, that I was talking about with this, you know, when I was broadcasting the YouTube music to this. I broadcast my phone's... Uh, the OTR from the uh, Patreon page to my super radio <laughs> from my phone. And it's, so my super radio turns into a Bluetooth speaker. I love it. <laughs> Sounds so good. Just ideas, guys. It's awesome. <laughs> so there it is. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Take care and goodbye.